Today, YouTube shares revenue as its creator's program launches into beta, YouTube defaults to the HTML5 video player instead of Flash, and YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki calls YouTube complimentary to traditional TV. Hello and welcome to YouTube News for February 4th, 2015. I'm your host, Alex, and I'll be walking you through some of the most important and interesting topics revolving around the YouTube platform. First up, YouTube viewers will no longer need to run Adobe Flash Player to watch videos on the website as YouTube has made the switch to support HTML5 by default. HTML5 has actually been around since 2004, but was finalized in October of 2014, making it the prime candidate to replace the outdated and resource-heavy Flash player. Another reason to switch is that HTML5 also supports more modern formats like adaptive bitrate to avoid video buffering and the 4K codec VP9. If you would like to learn more about the switch, head on over to the YouTube developer blog for a more detailed write-up. Next up, YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki was quoted saying that YouTube was complementary to traditional television. What she means by that is she wants to see more actors and entertainers using the YouTube platform alongside their TV and film efforts to help broaden their global reach and interact with their fans on a more personal level. While I agree that would be a good thing, I personally don't think it's the correct phrasing to use when pitching the platform to outsiders. I like to view YouTube as more of a I guess competitor to traditional television when viewers can see what they want when they want. And honestly, I think this is a more powerful model rather than a complimentary one. But I want to know what you guys think. Tell me in the comments below and I'll be sure to read all of them. Lastly, I'm sure YouTube gamers out there have heard about the recent Nintendo drama. For those of you who don't know, Nintendo launched a creator's program where if any YouTuber uploads footage from a Nintendo game, Nintendo must first review and approve the video before the YouTuber is successfully able to monetize that video. And the process can take up to 72 hours before that can actually happen. And not only that, Nintendo will be taking 40% of the revenue earnings, or if a YouTuber is focused on building a channel around Nintendo games and products, they can apply to give Nintendo 30% of the revenue earnings. Either way, it seems Nintendo fans are getting the short end of the stick. Not only are they advertising Nintendo games that they're playing, they're also giving Nintendo money to do it. From what I've heard, Nintendo of America is actually against this new creator's program, but it's Nintendo of Japan that's standing firm on this new policy. Honestly, it's kind of sad to see so quickly after all of these great Nintendo games had just been released during the holiday season, and I think it'll cause Nintendo Let's Players to shift their focus to other gaming companies that won't take their revenue away from their hard work. Do you have any thoughts on this new policy? I'd love to hear those thoughts as well in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, that's it for me this week. Tune in next Wednesday for the latest in YouTube news. Thanks for watching. Screens and even potentially in movie theaters. Do you think this is interesting or something an audience would be interested in seeing? Do you think Freedom should be interested in developing something similar to this? Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.